All right, so we have our solution, I mean, um, situation number three, the side of an equilateral field, A, B, C, with an area of 692.80 square meter has a magnetic bearing of north 48 degrees, 45 minutes east in 1930 when the magnetic declination was uh, zero degrees, zero degree, <clears throat> 52 minutes east. Assume B and C is on the northeast side. Okay, so first you have to establish your true north as I always tell you during the discussion. Okay, so let's establish our true north. So let's say this is our true north. Oops. Okay, and we are going to label that as our true north. And then uh, we will uh, we will sketch or we will draw the magnetic north. So since we have the magnetic declination of zero degrees 52 minutes that is inclined towards the east, we can easily uh, draw the magnetic north. So it has to be uh, north, northeast, I mean the leading towards the east. So this is our magnetic north. And then we're going to write it as MN, okay? All right, so this angle between the magnetic north and the true north is what you call the magnetic declination, okay? So the magnetic declination is zero degrees, okay? and 52 minutes. Now from the magnetic north, you have to draw the line, okay? Which is north 48 degrees, 45 minutes east. Why? Why is it from the magnetic north? Because it is a magnetic bearing, okay? It is a magnetic bearing. So therefore, your angle has to be somewhere here. I mean, your line, your line has to be somewhere in this side. Let me take this out. Okay. All right, so this is the side of an equilateral field. Now remember, this is an equi equilateral field. An equilateral field has the same length of sides and the same angles okay so if this is one side of an equilateral field okay with an area of 692 uh, square meter okay and has a magnetic bearing of north 48 degrees east in 1930 when the magnitude Decline, uh, magnetic declination was 0 degrees 52 minutes. Assume BC is on the northeast. So it means uh, that the other sites is also on the northeast side. Okay, so let's try to draft the figure. Okay, now first the question is find the true bearing of AB. So if you're trying to get the bearing of AB, this line, the black line going to the green line is 
the true bearing of line AB. Now, if this is, this angle is 48 degrees and 45 minutes. Okay, so what is the true bearing of the line? All right, now the true bearing of the line is, so solving for number seven, uh, so, uh, solving for the true bearing of the line. So true bearing of line AB Okay, so if we're going to solve the theta, let's say this is theta, okay? So theta is the magnetic, I mean the, the angle distance, right? So theta is equal to zero degrees, 52 minutes, plus, eto, no? Plus 48 degrees and 45 minutes. Uh, so theta is equals to uh, 49 degrees and 37 minutes. Now, what is the direction? So, the true bearing then is north 49 degrees 37 minutes east. So, the answer is letter letter b right it's northeast so it's letter b all right now next we have uh, find the length of ad now this has a correction here because uh, we don't have b so it's actually uh b okay so let's write this as B <clears throat> for that. So if your triangle is an equilateral polygon, so equilateral so they have equal angles, so equiangular sha. Okay, and of course, uh, sides are also equal, okay, equidistant to each other. Okay, now, we are going to assume that if they are equilateral or if they have the same sides. So, let's assume that this is X, this is X, and this is X. And the angles are, uh, let's say, we have... Um, alpha we have alpha and then we have alpha all right so it's very easy to compute because the area is given now an area if we consider angle a right so angle a if angle a is equals to angle b and it is equal to angle c so angle a is equals to angle B and it's equal to angle C. And um, so they have to be like uh, three alpha, right? So it has to be three alpha. Now, if they are all equal, we can equate this 280 degrees. Okay, so alpha then is equals to 180 degrees divided by three. And that is 60 degrees. So, therefore, bawat isang angle mo ay 60 degrees. Okay, now, uh, X also are the same. So, we can also uh, make um, a formula for the area of the triangle. Okay, so area of a triangle with given angle and sides it can be a is equals to one half bh and then um sine of the angle well in, in this case uh alpha <clears throat> all right now but 
B is equals to H. B is equals to H. And they are equal to X. So, therefore, no, A is equals to 1 half times X times X times sine of alpha. So, what is A? So, 1 half. Oh, let's, let's replace A here. So, A is equals to uh, 692.8. So, 692.80 is equals to 1 half X squared sine of 60 degrees. Okay. So, this is... how you're going to compute for the sides. I'm not sure why this guy is keeping on, keeps on messing my, all right, so here we go. So we can get now the value of X squared, wherein X is equals to, so X squared, is equals to 692 it's equals to 692.8 right so 692.8 times 2 right and then divided by sine of 60 degrees. Okay, so let's try to get the value of this x square. Get your calculator and try to solve by yourself. So we have 692.8 times 2 is equals to and then divided by uh, sine of 60 degrees so it's 1599.95 so 1599.95 Nine five three zero six six. But this is x squared. So therefore, you have to square it. So x is equals to is two point five thirty nine point ninety nine or thirty nine point nine nine nine. Okay, or you can say that it's already 40. Okay, but we, there's no, no 40 in the choices. So your answer will be uh, NOTC, which is not on the, or none, none of the choices. Okay, so none of the choices. All right, so this is your answer for number eight all right so there you go i will see you on my next uh video for the situation number four